What's up everyone? Welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian and today we have a core and restore practice. Who said you can't have it all? This practice targets the muscles of the deep core. So you're going to get a lot out of very little. It's going to require your attention and love for yourself, but we'll take a nice chill pill at the end and hopefully leave you feeling awesome. You want to know why? Because you deserve it. Let's get started. Right, way to show up. Let's begin in a nice comfortable seat of your choice. We're just going to take a little second to tune in. So come on down to the ground. Feel those sits bones on the earth. Do a little wiggle. Any little movement that feels good and then let's come to stillness. Easier said than done, I know, but just taking a moment here to land. Maybe close your eyes, relax your shoulders. And the breath, of course, a big part of our movement practice today. So start to notice your breathing. Trust that you chose the right video, the right practice. We have 20 minutes here together. It's gonna fly by. building strength from the inside out and today really activating the muscles of the deep core and we'll make sure you leave here feeling good taking some time to relax at the end draw the palms together Lift the elbows and press the palms actively left to right here. Lift the sternum, the chest, all the way up to the thumbs. See if you can grow a little bit taller in the spine. And we'll take a deep inhalation in together. Here we go, breathe in. Nice, long, full breath. And pause at the top, hold your breath. And then exhale, slow release out. Empty, empty, empty. Twice more like that. Big inhale, keep pressing the palms together. You're gonna breathe into the belly. Feel the rib cage expand as you breathe in, in, in. Pause here, shoulders relaxed. Retain the breath for a beat. And then slow exhale to release. And one last time, breathing in deeply through the nose. Feel the rib cage expand. Pause at the top, skin of the face relaxed. And this time as you exhale, release the air, draw the navel in towards the spine. Feel that activation of the core as you breathe out. Lovely, bat the eyelashes open. You can relax the arms, maybe take the, the hands for a couple wrist circles here. Hopefully that made sense. And then let's come on down to our backs. Come to lie down, hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a big hug here for a moment. Feel the connection of your body on the mat or on the earth. Let's take another deep breath in together <laughs> and a long breath out together. We were almost in sync with Benji's breathing, but not quite. Just trailing behind. As always with me and Benji, he leads the way. Okay, we're going to just keep one <clears throat> knee in, any knee, and send one leg out just for a little stretch. Breathe in and then switch. Breathe in. And then we're going to switch again. And then we're going to switch again. Now we're going to keep switching, but we're going to slow it down and we're going to really pay attention to two things. One, the placement of our spine. So actually, let's go ahead and do this 
Bend both knees, bring the soles of the feet to the mat, bring your hands to the uh, hip points. And you're just gonna rock the pelvis a little bit back and forth. And you can maybe bring your thumbs to the low belly. And just as you tilt the pelvis back and forth, no, back and forth, excuse me, notice when those low abs turn on. And then we're gonna come to a little bit of a neutral spine. So sacrum's on the mat, low ribs are hugging down and you can kind of feel those low abs turn on. And then just really drive that, that navel down to, to enhance the engagement of the transverse abdominis. All right, great. Now we're gonna to return to hugging one knee in and extending one leg out, but we're gonna to try to maintain this core connection. You can stay with the head down here as we begin to move back and forth, or for a little more of a challenge, you can start to lift the head, the neck, the shoulders, and find a little breath pattern here. You can point the toes or flex the feet, just nice conscious footing. So we're actually doing this in the neutral spine. So there's a little space between your low back, but the sacrum and the low ribs are on the earth. Tuck the chin slightly, keep the shoulders relaxed. There's no tension in the neck muscles here. So if there is, maybe you start to work with the head down here. So if you start to feel this in the front of the hip creases, let's check back in with the core and maybe you lift the, the legs a little higher so you're not going straight out, but more at a diagonal. I'm starting to feel that warmth, that fire in the belly, I hope you are. We're here for three, two, and one. Beautiful. Release everything. Let's bring the feet back to the mat, knees up. We're gonna come into a bridge here. So snuggle the shoulder blades underneath your heart space, palms pressed down to the earth. We're just gonna start with a slow, slow lift up. So. Focus today is on the abs, right? So nice and slow, you're gonna start with the tailbone lifting, press into the feet. And we're gonna pause here in this imprint position with the low back flush with the mat. Now lift from the pelvic floor, draw your navel down and in, hug the low ribs in towards your body so you feel that tight core. And then from there, we're gonna keep the tight core today and we're gonna lift the hips up slowly Pressing one vertebra into the mat at a time. No need to go too high because you're trying to maintain that core engagement today. So once you reach your top, then slowly soften through the chest and start to melt it down, seeing if you can maintain that core connection the whole way until you come all the way back to neutral. All right, let's go again, nice and slow. Again, focus on the core engagement, starting with the tailbone lifting. We come in through that flush low back position. This is a great place to get everything turned on. Wink, wink. Lifting up through the pelvic floor, drawing the navel down, pressing the low ribs in towards your body, and then continuing to lift nice and slow. Keep the shoulders relaxed of the face and jaw relaxed. Once you meet your highest edge, no need to go too high today, then we'll start to melt it back down. And then we're just gonna take one more, a little bit faster now on our own, just moving through that sequence with the core engagement. Don't forget to breathe. Beautiful, when you come down, no need to rush. We're gonna interlace the fingertips, bring them behind the head, cradling the back of the head and drawing the chin into the chest. So there are times where I cue a space between the chin and the chest. Today, not, not today, <laughs> not today, folks. There are times where I cue elbows wide. Today, we're going to tuck the chin into the chest and keep the elbows slightly tucked in. So instead of here, which I cue a lot, we're here. And the difference really is here, we're kind of working the rectus abdominis, and here we're, we're creating a different shape in our foundation to really engage that deep core, those 
the muscles of the pelvic floor, the low abdominals, and the transverse. So tuck the chin, elbows hug in. We wanna really, really lift up. So the shoulders are lifting and we're pressing into the low ribs. Now draw your pelvic floor up and in. Engage those low abs by drawing the navel down. And then again, reinforce the hugging of the low ribs in. Whee-hoo! So you don't have to do a lot of crunches. You already start to feel it here. If you feel okay here, we're gonna lift the shins parallel to the ceiling. If that's a little too much today because you're working these deeper muscles in a perhaps new way in your body, you can still do these moves with the feet down. So we're just adding a little challenge by lifting the knees. All right, inhale to lower slowly. Exhale to lift, but as you lift, it's not really happening from the shoulders. It's happening as we reinforce this core connection of pelvic lifting up and in, navel down, and low ribs in. All right, inhale to lower. Slow, exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Slow, exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Low ribs in, inhale lower. Exhale, lift. Let's keep it going. Navel to spine as you lift. Three more. Uh, on the third one, lift and hold. If your knees are lifted, extend your right leg out and bring it back in. Left leg out and bring it back in. Right leg out and bring it back in. You got this last one. Left toes out and bring it back in. Take a rest. Hmm. Let everything go. Breathe in deeply. And exhale completely. Round two, let's go, we got this. Interlace the fingertips, bring them behind the head. Again, find your placement of hugging those low ribs down and in, chin to chest and elbows tucking in slightly, shoulders relaxed. So before you even lift the feet or think of lifting the feet, let's, let's engage lifting up through the pelvic floor. We call this Mula Bandha in yoga. Navel draws in and down, Uddiyana Bandha in yoga. And then hug the low ribs in to see if you can lift your shoulders up a little bit higher. Woo all right, option to do this with the feet down. I'll demo that this time, but you can always lift the feet back up. So we're gonna cross over, inhale in, exhale, left shoulder towards left thigh. Now keep both hips evenly on the mat. You're gonna really start to feel that right oblique here. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Hold, good, now inhale, come through center. Keep the shoulders lifted, 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 and let's take it to the other side. So rather than like the bicycle crunch that we've done many times before, we're taking the right shoulder to the top of the left thigh and we're keeping that right hip heavy, heavy on the mat. Hold, good, on your next inhale, come back to center, take it to the other side. So crossing back and forth now with your breath, keeping the shoulders lifted, it's slow, it's controlled. And if you see your, the muscles of your belly coming up, see if you can maintain that navel drawing in. Of course, option to lift the knees, it's, it's quite difficult here. As you slowly move back and forth, again, keeping those hip points down is a little bit harder with the knees lifted. All right, let's do one more on each side. Doesn't have to be big and then release, take a rest. Whew All right, round three, interlace the fingertips, bring them behind the head, find your beautiful little neck cradle. Inhale in, exhale, tuck the chin, lift the head, the neck, the shoulders, navel draws down. Inhale in again, exhale to reinforce, low ribs to the mat, we're gonna lift the knees up, shins to hover. Good, inhale in. On the exhale, you're gonna create a little sound that's gonna help you maintain that navel to spine connection as you drop the right toes down. Then lift them up. 
Breathe in, exhale, left foot. Lift him up. Breathe in, exhale, right toes down, and switch. And each time you make that sound, you're reinforcing the navel down to the spine. Shoulders are relaxed. Muscles of the neck are relaxed. Slow and with control is good. In these last few rounds, let's see if we can all lift a little bit higher. One more to each side. And release. Oh man, so my new obsession, of course, has been this, this deep core work and, and it is so cool because it, re it requires such an incredible amount of your attention that I just think is so, so wonderful and can be challenging. Okay, guess what? This is the last round. Woo, confetti. You're going to bring the hands underneath the sacrum this time and legs up towards the sky. So I've worked long and hard to straighten these legs here. These hammies <laughs> always seem to shrink. Um, so if your knees are, are bent here, that's all good. No need to force or press to create a straight leg shape. Just feel it out. So to start, we're gonna flex the feet as if you were holding a yoga block on your feet or, or kind of pressing into a wall. And you're gonna inhale in, and if this is hurting your hands, you can just bring your hands right by your bum onto the earth. And you're gonna inhale in, exhale, navel draws down again, and we're just gonna lift the soles of the feet up. Up, up, up. Shoulders relaxed, up, up. Hug those low ribs into your body. Up, 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 up. Pressing into the palms. Very small movement. Up, up, up. So we're not just moving from the legs, we're really keeping that active engagement in the core for five. You got this. Four, three, two and one beautiful stay here we're going to scissor the legs point the toes now right leg drops down it comes up left leg drops down and we alternate if it's starting to get fussy in the low back just keep this scissor really small it's small and controlled or excuse me it's slow and controlled but maybe it is small and controlled and maybe if we're feeling any tightness in the hips we start to just give it a little turnout little Pilates inspo here. All right, and then last bit of this round is you can stay exactly where you are here, or we can lift the head, the neck, the shoulders, palms up towards the sky, and continue here with the scissors lifted for 10, nine, eight, seven, slow 10, <laughs> six, five, Four, three, you got it. Stick with it, lift it a little higher. Two, and one. Hug the knees into the chest. Give it a good squeeze. Take a deep breath in. I can smell those lilies on the table. It's so nice. And then exhale, let it go. We're gonna do a little twist here. So just bring the arms to the side, any side. Hug the knees into the chest. Twist to one side. And then the other. And then we'll come back to center and just bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide. Maybe bring the hands to the belly, take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And on this next in inhale, really fill the belly, stretch, and soften. Exhale, let it go. Good, now bring the hands to the outer edges of the legs. We're gonna come into happy baby, so grab the outer edges of the feet or the inner arches. 
kicking the soles of the feet up towards the sky for a breath or two. You can find some soft, easy movement here. And then release one foot down and send one foot up towards the sky for a hamstring stretch. You can keep this uh, foundation leg bent or you can straighten it for a little bit of a deeper stretch. Breathe. And then slowly switch to the other side. Great, and then both feet down. We're just gonna windshield wiper the legs a little one way and then the other. You can start to close your eyes a bit here. Soften your gaze. And then we'll keep the left foot down, kick the right foot up for a little figure four, a little reclined pigeon. So you'll thread the needle here, interlace the fingertips behind your left hamstring, your left thigh. And then squeeze the legs up towards your chest. Breathe. Now when you're ready, release and switch. Second side. Listening to the sound of your breath here. Noticing how you feel. And then release both feet. We're gonna extend the legs out long. Inhale, full body stretch, send the fingertips all the way up and overhead. Exhale, you're gonna send the fingertips up towards the sky, navel draws down, and we're gonna do a slow roll up all the way towards, uh, fingertips towards the toes. So if you need to use your hands, you can, otherwise we're gonna roll up all the way through seated and into a forward fold with bent knees. Again, use those hands if you need to, and then maybe there's one day where you're doing this practice and you notice a different sensation in the core. So it does take some time, awareness, and conditioning, but you got this. I love that we're all here showing up to build strength from the inside out. Feel a nice stretch in the back here. Breathe in, and long breath out. All right, set yourself up for a final resting posture. I'm gonna grab my bolster here, although it looks like Benji's maybe using it. Okay, no. You can use a blanket or a towel. Maybe you don't need anything at all. Now that you just start to find your Shavasana by coming back down to the ground and spreading your feet as wide as the mat, your arms, same, nice and spacious. When you get there, take a deep breath in when you're all set up and as you exhale, just see how fast you can surrender. Letting go of all the weight in the body, just surrendering it to the earth. Close your eyes. And then allow your breath to just flow nice and easy naturally. Take a moment here to rest. Relaxing through the feet, the ankles. Letting go through the calves and the shins, the knees and the backs of the knees. the thighs, the hamstrings, the quadriceps, the femur bones, all the way to the hips. Let your hips be heavy. Let the bowl of the pelvis be soft so we're not gripping or holding anywhere around the hips of the pelvis here, but softening. And relaxing through the belly at last. Relax.
relaxing through the mid back, the rib cage. And through the sternum, the chest, and the upper back. Make sure you're not gripping or holding in the shoulders. Relax your shoulders, the arms, the wrists, and the whole hand softening, heavy. Part the lips, soften through the jaw to relax the muscles of the neck and the face. And finally, allow your head to be heavy on the earth, taking a breath or two here to just be, to allow the brain and the body to receive the restorative benefit of this practice as well. Great, then as you're ready, you can keep the eyes closed here. We're just gonna slowly rock the head a little side to side, ear to ear, getting a little stretch in the neck and a little massage on the back of the head. Start to gently deepen your breath. You can start to open the eyes as you bring some movement back to the body, fingers, toes, Maybe take one more big full body stretch. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today and every other day. I hope to see you again soon, maybe tomorrow. Let's bring the palms together in prayer. Thumbs right up to that third eye to the forehead today. Just take a deep breath in to close the practice. Give thanks for this time with yourself, caring for yourself. And exhale. Thanks everyone, take good care.